Welcome back to Crash Team Racing! My name is Fade, and today we will head over to the next world, which is some sort of ice cone place. Not sure what the name is, but I'm sure we will find out just in a moment. It is actually Glacier Park. And the first level is right here. Blizzard Bluff. Oh, yes. This is relatively interesting of a level, I remember. So, let's get this ball rolling. Can't ride to the chase, as usual. And there's a... Shortcut right over there. This thing started really great. Whoop! And then there's a shortcut right here. And then there... There we go, I made that shortcut too. That's actually pretty difficult from what I made, but I've had plenty of practice over the years. And that shortcut, well, all, pretty much all of these shortcuts you just require a lot of uh, turbo sliding or boosting or what have you. And then you can make it. Certainly! Hop! Oh. Hop! Oh. Yeah. That one is extremely difficult to make. And I didn't really do it too well on the first try either. And if you try to really do a great time record on this level, that is definitely a shortcut that you must take. Oh. And again, no enemies in sight. Oh, which is always great news. No blue lightning things. Oh. There we go, that's how you do it. That could not have gone any better. And as I was able to make the shortcut, that definitely shows in the third lap time. Two. So, there we go. A great, wonderful start for the episode. I know how boring this is getting, because, you know, I'm not seeing much of the enemy, so let's actually change that right now. I'll try to be last on the next round. And is there Uga Uga again, as usual? No! I guess he was on the first two worlds, being like a tutorial guy. But anyways, we got... Komodo Joe, I believe. Yup. As the boss of this world. And there's the igloo. But well, this is not where I'm supposed to go. So, I will head over here, which is Dragon Mines. And this is actually Komodo Joe's level. Where we are going to be racing him at the end of this episode. So that's cool. Yep. Let's get a head start here. Although I kind of promise I wouldn't. There's a bunch of shortcuts I remember in this level. So we can try and experiment on those. I believe you can take a little shortcut. Well, yeah, this is the shortcut, except. This may happen. Oh, actually made it. Uh, this is, oh, no, I actually didn't even get a weapon. Well, let's jump. No, I was hoping to get the TNT. Oh, and all that purple stuff on the left—you can actually take a shortcut over there too. Hey, this is something I can definitely use by the shortcuts. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give there we go. Alright. Let's do it. Ow! Wow, another Uga Uga! Doom -doom -doom -doom. Oh! I didn't go according to plan at all. And then I get shot. Well. At least I can try the shortcut again. 
with Ukawa Jump, but I'll actually need to. No, uh, I don't need to get a shot. Well, now I kind of plan to do. Come on. Come on. It's like these guys are actually trying it right now. It certainly looks that way. Oh. Get that juice up. Oh. We got this. Oh, number one. All right, that was actually pretty close because I kind of screwed up there. But with the turbo sliding, once you manage the turbo sliding, nothing can beat you except other people who can do turbo sliding. That's why, again, it's a shame that there's no online mode on this game because obviously it's a PlayStation One game. You win trophy. And then next. What? We're heading this way. Alright, so be it. Oh. Um, which level was this? Polar Pass! Ooh! This is one of my favorites! There's like one super awesome shortcut in this level, which is extremely difficult to make. And look at that, Polar is actually leading in number one place. What a surprise. Oh, and I screwed that up. But I will try to make that shortcut because it's freaking awesome. But I haven't done it in years. And this one is really difficult. I think it's so uh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's over here, yeah. I don't remember how you need to do it. Was it from the turbo pad, I think? Yeah, you can jump all the way to the other side from here. Which is freaking awesome. But I don't remember the exact spot that you need to jump on. So, yeah, there is that, but that jump is actually manageable, even though it seems impossible. So, now that I've kind of screwed up here, let's go ahead and catch up to these bad guys. Get some of this boosting up here. I'm sure I'm going to hit that Nitro on the next turn. Alright. I may try that up, up again, as I got some really good speed going on here. Yeah? Oh, I think it's yeah, it's difficult to make. I don't remember which, which spot it is, but you can make that jump from that point all the way here. Yeah. It is manageable, but extremely difficult. Oh! Aww! And it's Trash Bandicoot, who's leading the way. Well, I'm glad I had that. Oh! Where was that rocket going? Ooh! Ha 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 ha! I was really hoping he would fall down, but, oh well. Oh well, here we go. I can try that shortcut one more time. I'm still not entirely certain on the spot. Like, you have to jump on the ledge and then jump from the ledge. So, yeah, really difficult to make, but once you figure out the spots, it's just practice. Then you can jump all the way here. And that, if anything, is going to give you a great time trial time 
on this level. I'm sure you can find some videos on YouTube of people who have done that. But one of the most awesome shortcuts in the game. I think there's a, there are there was nitro by the way. There are some few other awesome shortcuts in the more complicated levels that can be kind of broken in that way. But that was Polar Pass for ya. And then we have one more level before the boss, I do believe. <laughs> Victorious! And where is that level? It's in the igloo. And this one is Tiny Arena. This is actually a pretty long one, if I am not mistaken. This is like Wario Stadium of Crash Bandicoot. It's it's a lot similar like to that level. But you know. It's pretty much a Mario Kart clone. But unlike many Mario Kart clones, this one doesn't suck. Oh! That was my weapon box! Yeah! This is a fun level with all these jumps here. As you can see, if you have played Mario Kart, this is like Wario Stadium right here. And it's really fun to do sliding and get your speed up in this level because there's so many jumps. Everywhere! You gotta watch out for the mud. Oh. The longer jumps, the better airtime you get. The better, better you are going to be able to boost up, as you saw right there on that long straight line. I was able to keep my speed up for a long time. That's the secret to boosting and sliding, keeping your speed up. I might actually be able to catch the last guys by one lap on this level, or I'm not sure. I might. This is a pretty darn long level. Then again, I'm not really sure if three laps is gonna be enough for that. Oof. But I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try my best on this level. It's just extremely thrilling and exhilarating. Just got so much speed. You can do sliding. This is just. Such a wonderful level. Hook! There we go, jumping over that mod. Hook! Oh no! Oh no. I bet nobody's going to hit that. Hook! Aww. Oh. I lost my momentum, just like that. But it's fine, it's fine. Oh. Here we go, final round. And I'm leading by a landslide. Yeah, I think it's impossible to catch anyone in this level. Within three laps. Just too much. But I can still go super fast, and this freaking. This is what makes this game so fun. The controls and everything. This game is just such a perfect racing card game. It's so well done. Hook! I was still able to manage to keep my speed. Hook! There we go. How, how much... How far will my speed take me? Pretty far. And then I can't hit the wall because I was done. Hook! Alright. Then next... Hook! It is Commodore Joe. There was my bottle. 
And I am victorious. All right, one thirteen. Every lap. Huh. Hmm. Not too shabby. And then I'm sure Commodore, Commodore Joe will come and congratulate us on the victory. <laughs> Not sure why they didn't have the other Commodore brother in this game. I'm sure there are random reasons for that. So, here we go. So, you've beaten all the other racers on these tracks. Well, now you'll see why I'm the most few driver on the circuit. I'll earn the right to face Oxide by crushing you into brick dust. Let's race. Let's race. I like that guy. But his brother is not around. Was he Mo? Come on, Joe and Mo? Or something else? Co? Blow? No? I don't know. Come on, I don't. I say Komodo no! Oh. Well, that didn't go upon it. Well, what was your weapon again? I'm sure I will run into that. Oh. TNTs and nitros. But that's how you can take that shortcut. Oh. oh. Joe, you're supposed to, like, do something about that. But you didn't. You fool! Where is he? Alright. Got a turbo boost. That's nice. Let's leave that over there. I'm sure he will hit that again. Yup! Is he going to get hit by that, however? Ha ha ha! Oh, come on, Joe! Get out of here. I don't really want to even try and do the shortcut right now. Because, you know, too risky. Oh! And got this. And he's pretty far away. Yep. Jump and jump. Oh, I was not supposed to. Get rid of that. I actually could have used that to potentially make the shortcut. But, oh well. <laughs> One last draw. Yup, here we go. Commoner Joe defeated. And with that, I will conclude this episode. And we will conclude this world, the Glacier Park. Alright? And then next next time we'll move on to... <laughs> Not sure what world that was, but Pinstripe is the boss right there. Good old Pinstripe. In fact, very good one. Ah, oh, don't cry, Joe. You're not so slow after all. Surprise to me you did. Here's a key for the win. Still, I think you're not fast enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet, and it will all be your fault. Oh, Joe, don't be like that. I'm sure I can defeat Oxide, but... Thank you, thank you again for watching the episode of Crafty Racing. Next time we'll move over there to that world, whatever it's called. We'll figure that out next time. So, until then, until next time, this is Spade signing out. Peace. <laughs>